Coach Jones, welcome to Big Orange Country. You had mentioned today in your press conference this was a dream job for you. Can you elaborate on it a little bit for us? Well, obviously, you know, with the University of Tennessee and the tradition, uh, the history behind it, you know, it's something growing up watching all the great players in Neyland Stadium. And so obviously it's a, it's a job that I coveted in the coaching profession. And now to be the head football coach uh, means everything. I understand I'm the caretaker of Tennessee football, and I look forward to that. You've been on campus just a few hours, but you've had a chance to go through the new football facility. You've been at Neyland Stadium, the Peyton Manning locker room. Just give us your initial thoughts about the facilities and, and where Tennessee is compared to some of the other places you've seen. Well, so many adjectives to describe it, but I'll just simply say it's the best in the country. And, uh, you know, for a prospective student athlete, uh, if you want the best, you want to play for the best, you're going to come to the University of Tennessee. Your offenses at Cincinnati were high scoring and your defenses created a lot of turnover. So obviously high energy on both sides of the ball. Well, it is, you know, and obviously it's scoring points on offense and then obviously taking care of the football and then defensively is creating turnovers and not giving up points. And uh, so we have a great uh, pedigree in terms of that and uh, looking forward to bringing that here to Tennessee. You said your offense is quarterback driven. It's not a spread, but it's still up tempo. Could explain right. that a little bit. It's a, it's a pro style offense. You know, and uh, but we're going to be a no huddle, up tempo team. But I think when people use the term spread, they think of soft and finesse. We're going to run the football, but we're going to be balanced and throw the ball as well. And everything's structured around the quarterback. Talk about your recruiting philosophy. What type of player do you look for, and what type of players do you think you're going to attract to Tennessee? Well, we have a recruiting profile. You know, a recruiting profile by position, but also from a character standpoint. Uh, you know, a passion to get a degree. And uh, so there's so many intangibles that go into the recruitment of a student athlete, but we want the best of the best. You know, we want individuals who want to get a degree, win championships, and play on Sundays. You'd also mention in your press conference today that the foundation has been set. The foundation's in pretty good uh, place here at Tennessee. Explain that a little bit to us. Well, I think first of all, as you look at the past, you know, everything's about our letter winners. You know, you look at the foundation that they've laid, you know, from championships, uh, to successful players, you know, to everything. So the foundation's there. Now we just have to continue to build on that foundation with the recruitment process and developing our current players. Over the last couple of years, you've sent more than a dozen players from Cincinnati to the NFL. So that's the top player you're looking for? Well, it is. You know, we use a term in our football program called NFL Ready. And when, when they're done playing at Tennessee, they're ready to move on to the next level, you know, to play on Sundays. And so that's everything from the development of our player, not only physically, but socially, mentally, everything that goes into being equipped that when they play in the National Football League, they can make it and be great players because they are part of our program. A couple years ago, you are at the other end of the stadium. You had your Cincinnati team here and brought them out to play Tennessee at Neyland Stadium. Talk about that experience, just the atmosphere you experienced being on the other side of the well, field. Well, tremendous home field advantage. You know, the, the passionate fans, um, obviously they cause you so many problems in terms of crowd noise. And uh, I'm glad I'm on the other sideline <laughs> now. But, uh, you know, you can feel the passion, the commitment. And that's, you know, as a, as a football coach, that's what I want to be a part of, is a passionate fan base that packs Neyland each and every day and, or each and every Saturday, and that it means something to them. And you can tell even with the, with the support today that this football program definitely means something to them. You have met with the Tennessee team. You've already talked to them a little bit, laid down some of the rules about offseason and those type things. But now talk about the recruiting process of the current Tennessee players. Well, you know, that'll be an ongoing process. And uh, we have to solidify our recruiting class. We have to solidify our commitments and then also add to the recruiting class. And then there'll be challenges accompanying with that just because of the structure of the recruiting calendar. But uh, this next week's going to be critical for us. And a key thing is your staff, too. So talk about the formation of that. When do you hope to have that in place? Well, we're going to do our due diligence. And I think being here at the University of Tennessee is you can attract the best of the best. You know, we want a great individual who's, you know, obviously starts first and foremost with character. We want great teachers, great students of the game, great communicators, and a passion for the University of Tennessee as well. Tennessee's had a couple of tough years now. Uh, so talk about bringing this program back, and, and obviously you know it's a challenge, but this is a challenge you are really looking forward to. I, I well, think. I'm excited about it. You know, that's why you coach is for challenges. And like I said, the foundation is here. You know, when you walk a student athlete into these facilities, you know, when they embody the tradition that's associated at UT, they're going to understand what it means, uh, you know, to run out, the power T, everything that's associated, the checkerboard and, and the end zone. So all that. Uh, I think really, really helps attract a student athlete. And obviously the recruiting is the bloodline, is a lifeline of any program. 
Coach Jones, we're glad you're here. Welcome to Big Orange Country, and uh, we wish you the best of success. Thank you.